podcast in which one man strives to level up his geekhood and helping you do the same one battle at a time. <laughs> now, let's get geeky with Gamer Leaf. Well, we've gone and done it, folks. This is our 50th episode of Getting Geeky with Game Relief. Glad you could stay for the ride. If you're new to the show, go back and listen to our last 49 episodes, and we hope you stick around for the long haul. Listen to this episode for a chance to win a game from Chip Theory Games. Now, go ahead and get geeky with Game Relief. Welcome to Getting Geeky with Game Relief. It is I, Game Relief. This is today's Monday show. Uh, The name of the show has yet to been discovered, but that's why we need you, the fans. This will be our Monday role-playing game. We have some great art that doesn't has a name on it, but one of our our fans on it, his name is Blake. Let's see, I can actually tell you what it is. Yeah, Blake Wilson, he was the one that created our, our show art for the show. Um, well, some of the show art for the show, and he has a great image depicting our Monday role-playing game episodes, but we need your help. Yes, this is a call to all fans. We need your help. It will be Monday something or another role-playing games or something or another role-playing game Monday something dealing with it. We want it to start with an M and have Monday in it. So you go ahead and pick one word that can go along with Monday. And just to give you an example of what we've had previously or what the other shows are, we have Wishless Wednesday, in which we talk to Kickstarter people or other creators of other games and whatnot. And then we have Family Fun Day Fridays, in which me and my family will go ahead and review and tell you all about a game, whether it be something we play lately or, yeah, it'd just be a game, a nice fun day for you and your family to enjoy Fridays with me and my family here at Getting Geeky with Game Relief. So, we need your help. And to do that, what better way to do that? I know we still have some games that are due out to people. We finally got those in possession from the Imperial Outpost, so we're excited about that. So, we should be begin mailing those within the next week or so. Hopefully, next week, week and a half would be my guess. We'll go ahead and begin mailing those off to you. So, if you haven't got your game yet do not fret hopefully you're still a fan of the show well anyways getting on with business i just wanted to tell you what we'll be doing on this role-playing game so you have a little bit more idea um it's called well you know what we don't know what it's called yet do you because you the fan are going to have a chance to help us to name the podcast name how exciting is that do you have any other podcasts have allowed you to help them in naming the name of the podcast episodes or the weekly show or whatever you want to call it. Well, now you can say that you have. This contest is actually a contest. I have some judges set up and whatnot. They will help us figure out what one they think is best. I have several different contests, um, people who are going to be helping us with this contest, and I can tell you about who they are shortly. But I wanted to first off give you what the perk of is trying to help us come up with the name for this, and this is exclusive. So if you don't listen to this podcast, you may not even hear about this contest. Well, and hopefully you'll keep listen, listening. But anyways, the game that we will be sending to one lucky winner was provided to us by Chip Theory Games and they are the creators of the game we are gonna knock off or the game that we're gonna start in our quest to role play as a family this is called um, Trip Lock I believe it's called Trip Lock it's a game that they recently had on the Kickstarters. It was after Too Many Bones. We're going to be playing Too Many Bones. But the game you can win is Trip Lock. It's their latest game. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and help us come up with the name. Now, let me go ahead and tell you some of our, if not all of them. No, actually, I'll go ahead and tell you all of them. I don't see why you should not know who the the announce, why you should not know who the judges of this contest are going to be. Do not attempt to contact them in any shape form to let them know to pick for your game 
but you should already know that. You guys are an honest crew. I, at least I hope you're an honest crew. Well, anyways, we have Ryan from the giveawaygeek.com. He will be one of our judges. Also, Helena, I hate to slatter her name, so I'm not going to do that. She is from the Board Game News. I believe that's where she's from. Actually, we've just partnered with him, and it is a great thing here. I'll tell you about the partnership shortly. But, yeah, Board Game News, BG News, and I'll leave links to all these. Also, with Joshua, who is really Logan Chops. He's got a great YouTube channel. Actually, we're competing with each other. He has more YouTube subs than I do currently. So, go ahead and give us a YouTube subscribe. See if we can help catch him. But, anyways, he's going to be one of our our great judges. Um I don't remember if I asked, let's see, did I ask my favorite podcast person? Um, I don't think I did. That was a shame. I should have asked him. But he's got a lot of stuff going on, so I don't think I did. I should have done it. Maybe I will. Well, if he's listening, I'd love to ask the great Richard from We're Not Wizards if he'd enjoy being a judge for us. I'll send him a message as well, but maybe he's listening to the show and he can let me know in time. Also, we have Michael right from The Unfiltered Gamer. He's got a great YouTube channel, and he'll go ahead and be one of our judges as well as Dane Trimble from EverythingBoardGames.com. He'll be one of our judges as well. And then we have Chris James, and he's going to be a judge for us. And he is the he's in charge of Casual Game Revolution, CasualGameRevolution.com. He's going to go ahead and be helping us out, judge this game as well. Check him out. All these will be in the show notes. And then Mark Vincer. He was one of the first fans that actually contacted me. He's over in the... In South Africa, I do believe, and he just recently created a review website, if you would, called Fellowship of the Box, and he's going to be one of our great judges. Check it out as well, and let's see what else we have going on here in the great, great, great world of getting geeky with Game Relief and our um, upcoming contest in which you help us go ahead and choose the name of the podcast uh, for our Monday show. That is all of our great, great judges. So go ahead and create a name of what you think our Monday show should be called. And go ahead and, I don't know. Yeah, let's not be too tricky about this. Go ahead and send me an email over at GameRelief at GameRelieveGo.com. Like I always say, that's kind of like Pokemon Go, but it's Game Relief Go instead. So, yeah, go ahead and send us an email. Let us know what you think Monday's shows should be called. Once again, it needs to be an M word, and it'll be about role playing, and it needs to go flow well with Monday. Like we have Wishless Wednesdays and Fun Day fam Family Fun Day Fridays. I guess you could have two more words besides Monday if you wanted to, if you had to, but it's up to you. Be the judge and try to win the game. And then, so that's what's going on. This is just an announcement episode, really, pretty much. Anyways, and also, I know you think we might be more than perfect. And I digress. We are average, like Richard, over on We're Not Wizards, always says in his podcast, he doesn't want a 1, as that'll make him cry when you're reviewing on iTunes. Nor a 10, as that'll make his head head too big. It's, he asked for a 5 on his iTunes reviews. I think I'm similar. I'm just average as well. So if you are reviewing our podcast, make sure you give it a 5. So our head doesn't get too big, and our feet don't swell, and we don't cry. Because that's going to make our eyes really big and puffy. And who wants that? Because then I will not be able to bring you great podcasts. Because I won't be able to see worth a lick. Because my eyes will be too swollen from crying. Well, anyways, I digress. Anyways, so where was I going with this? Do I know where I was going with this? Well, anyways, oh no. Uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you, even I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I'm just average like many of you, like all of you, I'm just average, 
Um, so anyways, I, although I did six episodes this last week, I released six episodes for your great enjoyment and listening. I am still far from perfect. And this role playing as a family, well, it just kind of overwhelms me. I'm pretty scared to tell you the truth. So, but we're going to do it. We need a name for the podcast and we're going to do it. I'm going to learn and me and my family are going to be doing too many bones from chip theory games so you'll want to tune in every monday so you can hear that and that will be great and yeah so there's that and then i wanted to tell you about a great new partnership coming out we don't know what we're going to call it but it's a network that we have in the works it is me getting geeky with game relief so a podcast then we have the giveaway geek.com which is a great website in which you can have giveaways and, and then we have the board game news like I was telling you about. And they do giveaways and they do great board game news. Duh. And then we also have Logan Chops, a YouTube channel extraordinaire who does Kickstarter videos and other great reviews of games. I don't know what we're going to call the network. Maybe you could give us a hint for that too in your email. And what you're trying to win, a prize. Yes, well, prize. Well, there's that. You, so you have it. And if you have any suggestions on how I can get unoverwhelmed and just go ahead and dive into Too Many Bones, a role playing game, if you've played it, make sure you send us an email as well. Now, on to what you know, you've come to know and love, or hopefully you've known to come and love. If you don't, if this is your first show that you're listening to, welcome to Getting Geeky with Game Relief. The podcast in which we hope to create the best family gaming podcast starring kids. Of course, there's no kids on tonight as they're already in bed. We had a rough day, needless to say. Anyways, I digress. Now it's time for the part of the show that hopefully you've come to know and love. That is Kickstarter Corner. We had a lot of great Kickstarters that rounded up and rounded out this last week. But not to fret. We have some great ones that are going live this week as well. We have a couple starting on Tuesday the 10th. I believe it's Tuesday. Well, let's check it out. Yes, after the holiday, which is Monday the 9th, Tuesday the 10th, we have some great Kickstarters coming to you. We have one from Impact Managers. This will be the 33rd one they created, which is exciting and all. And let me tell you about this. I actually got this in the mail the other day. I was so excited, uh, with, especially with us doing role playing. This is a game changer. Let me tell you, it is the Kickstarter is D20 and D30 RPG and DCC dice chain sets. New D17, D19, D26, and D28. This is a great thing. They will have all the sides from D3 to D20 and all the evens. From D4 to D30. You know, that's one of my pet peeves when I'm listening to the great Glass Cannon podcast that I love and adore. But when I'm listening to that on air on my podcast network, it really frustrates me. They roll like a natural 20 and then they end up with having to calculate and it goes up to a 26 or down to a 13 or who knows what in the heck. This is a game changer for that kind of things. It is where you are actually going to, if the role playing industry jumps on this, you'll be able to roll a dice. You say you have up to a D30 you can have. You'll have a D30 dice you can roll instead of calculating all that garbage and hoobaloo in there. So that's a great thing. Check them out on the Kickstarters. I forget how long this project is running. I want to say two weeks, but I could be mistaken. But yeah, check it out. It should go live on Tuesday, the 10th of October. Check them out. And then we also have another great one. Well, would I lie to you? No, I wouldn't lie to you. Let me tell you all about it if I can find it. Why can't I find it? Well, you are not all that grand, are you? Well, actually, I'm pretty good. It's a game. Let's see here. And it is launching as well on the 10th. Found it. 
I'm back. Great. So this game, like I suggested, or like I suspected, it is f from Fisher Heaton Games. It's called Intel. And I love the the artwork. It's David Albison's Intel Hack or Be Hacked. Now to tell you a little bit about it, it like I said, it launches on Tuesday the 10th of October as well. And Intel is an area control strategy game for two players. One player is a black hat, a cunning hacker determined to infiltrate and bring down the corporation. The opposing player is a white hat employed by the corporation to profit its valuable data. Players will take turns strategically placing blocks of code into various systems of the corporation with intent to control them. And yeah, they're going to be launching on the 10th of October. So check them out on the Kickstarters. It looks like the pre-order price on Kickstarter will be $20 as opposed to the $24. So yeah, check them out. And if you like what you see, back them on the Kickstarter. It reminds me kind of of... Uh, I can't even remember. There's a game we have where you're a hacker and you're trying to do that. So that's cool. Yeah, check them out on the Kickstarters. And then let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Um, the, some of the other games that we have on the great Getting Geeky with Game Relief for our Kickstarter corner are, don't forget about Frontier the Card Game. This one goes through the 24th of October. And it is where you're trying to become the greatest outlaw alive and you want to get the most by collecting the most notoriety and bounty yeehaw we actually have this game joshua joshua mcmurray from meet me at the table gaming actually sent it to us and it is fun i tell you what first i was overwhelmed you'll get a if you listen long enough you'll realize sometimes i get overwhelmed even though i can put out six issues or six episodes in a week, I still get overwhelmed. Well, anyways, there's a lots and lots of cards for this game, but it is stellar and very fun. They've actually gone up since last time I saw them. So, at the time of this recording, they're less than $900 from their goal, so you can go ahead and make this become, game become a reality and get a great game about... Becoming the best outlaw. Haven't you always wanted to be an Wild West outlaw? I know I have. And then we also have, I don't even know how to say this, Suku Umi. Uh, full Moon Down. I always call it Full Moon Down. But check this one out on the Kickstarters. They have 28 days to go still, and they're going stronger than ever. They've got 60,000 almost reached out of the 42,000 goal. But it's a true asymmetric board game, and it's a strategic tabletop board game in which unique and asymmetric factions fight for world domination after the moon crashed into the earth. And we had we were lucky enough to have on Teal of King Raccoon Games, and we'll go ahead and get his interview uploaded pretty soon, probably this week, hopefully, if things go right, and you'll be able to listen and see how great a game that is, and why you should go ahead and back it on the Kickstarters, 100% funded, as it says on the page. We also have another great game, War Titans, Invaders Must Die, by Crawling Chaos Games. Now, they just, bar whoa, somebody just backed it while we were watching. Anyways, there's 40. Five thousand five hundred and twenty-six dollars out of the sixty-four thousand five hundred and thirty-four dollar goal, and they end pretty soon after you hear this. They actually end on Thursday, October twelfth, at twelve fifty-eight p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So let's make this game a reality as well. You choose a pilot and take control of colossal robots in this cooperative board game, rich in amazing miniatures and multiple scenarios. Make it a uh, reality by backing on the kickstarters today and then we also have trench now you know i like checkers well if you didn't know i do like checkers and trench is where you're playing with art it's a timeless innovative abstract strategy game for two players based on trench wars of world war one by i don't even know how to pronounce that so check them out on the kickstarters but it is, looks like checkered or chess, but get this, a million times more pretty or elegant or whatever you want to call it. It's not one of those games that my lovely wife 
Lady Leaf would refer to as a classic because it's so unaesthetically pleasing. This one she would actually call aesthetically pleasing, I believe so, I would hope so. But there's free shipping to the U.S., to Canada, U.K., and D.E. I don't think that's Delaware, people. I want to say that's Denmark, but check it out on the Kickstarters. This game funded in three hours, and it is brought to you by Outer Limit Games. Hoping to get the creator, or the actually the head of Outer Limit Games on there last time we tried. He had a cough, but I hope you're feeling better. And yeah, so there's that. What else is going on with getting geeky with game relief? Well, the Gloom of Killforth expansion pack. This one is blowing it out of the water, people. This one is the first set of expansions of Gloom of Killforth, the sellout fantasy quest game, plus the reprint of the original game by Tristan Hall. This game, it, like I said, is blowing it out of the water. They funded in four hours on Kickstarter, and they're just keep on going, keep on trucking, I always say. Their goal was $35,276. They're currently at $145,000 and $250,000, well, $145,258 with $1,840 backers. They got 23 days to go. It goes through Halloween, the 31st of October at 4.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Check them out on the Kickstarters. This one is very, very pleasing to the eye beautiful art so check them out on the kickstarters that great game and then what else do we have well we have swords and cells they're still going one thing that that princess leaf worried about with them ending on friday october 13th she's a little leery of that day i wonder why well i don't know but swords and cells rewrite history in 1000 a.d is an epic conquest and diplomacy game about leading your armies and fleets through medieval Europe in 1000 AD. Go ahead and back them on the Kickstarters, and you can, ha too, have this great game. Plus, don't forget to try to win coinage for your gameage over at the GiveawayGeek.com provided by the creator of Swords and Cells, in which you rewrite history in 1000 AD. They actually need to make a game where you rewrite history of now, the 2000s, and make it more like the 70s. They're actually screwing with my music from the 90s and calling that classic. That's not classic, people. Come on. Get a life, won't ya? And then what else do we got? We also got Cheese Quest. You know about Cheese Quest, don't you? It's a tabletop game of tactics and sabotage. Be crafty, strategic, and fast. You'll split your time between progress and sabotage as you race return two cheeses to the nest. Ever wanted to be a mouse and place a trap and cats to catch your friends, but you get the cheese if you have, or if you like cheese like I do, go ahead and check out Phil Schott's first creation on the Kickstarter at the time of this. There was seven. They had seventy-eight hundred and forty-one dollars out of the twelve thousand dollar goal. There's four days to go at this time, but when you hear this, yeah, when you hear this, it goes through Thursday, October twelfth. So make sure you check them out on the Kickstarters. It's a great thing, a great thing to be true. I had him on the game on the podcast, and it was a great interview. We had lots and lots of fun, or at least I did. Anyways, check them out on the Kickstarters. And don't forget about our friends over at Solar Flare Games. They acquired the IP for Robotech Force of Arms based on the anime that's available on the Kickstarters. And let me tell you what, me, I know I told you I was going to do it. Me and Barbarian Leaf, we finally finished the first episode of Robotech, the 1985 anime let's tell you about what the show is about well the what it says here is it says when a mysterious spaceship crashes in the pacific the people of earth work to master the science of robo technology and rebuild the giant fortress i was impressed actually i was more impressed i think we will be watching this show me and barbarian leaf i would love to have him come on getting geeky with game relief i probably will if he can be bribed. Well, no. 
You don't have to be bribed. I'll have him come tell you what he thinks about it. Well, anyways, watch for that game. The game's coming from Solar Flare Games about Robotech. That is great, isn't it? And then uh, don't forget about Angel Blood Publishing Presents, the tabletop RPG we all want. After 13 long years, Angel Blood, the tabletop RPG, is ready to be unleashed on the masses. It's time for everyone to be a game changer. Check this out on the Kickstarters. They have, still have 32 days to go, so nothing to fret. They end the 9th of November, and they currently have $1,525 out of the $5,000 goal. What I liked about this, I actually had the creator on, and they're going to go ahead and when you're role-playing this game, you can go ahead and have your your stories told on the like books, and they can be sold and make money for that. Plus, he wants to make a movie out of your a movie out of it so yeah check them out on the kickstarters today so that's that and then what else is going on with getting geeky with game release well we're still very interested to find out where our fans are from if you could go ahead and comment on it and tell us where you're from especially i am dying to find out where my ukraine fans are come from well like lady leaf said probably ukraine but how did you hear about us? How did you hear about getting geeky with Gamer Life and why are you still coming back? I'm glad you're coming back. Oh, also, I wanted to tell you this. Somebody said something on Patreon. Well, no, one of my people that I just barely interviewed, the guy from, I believe it was Nick. Let me chat. Well, I can tell you, can't I? That's the great thing about the internet, you know, people. The great thing about the internet is what? Well, the great thing about the internet is I can go in and tell you what was going on and what's going on and all that fun stuff and who I interviewed. Well, anyways, Nick, I just interviewed Nick Coop, who has to do a, um, yeah, has to do with the game Stellar Leap, which is currently on Kickstarter. Can't wait to show you that interview or have you listen to it. But he brought up an idea for Patreon, which Princess Leaf, I know she would make sure you guys got thanked, and I would love to, but we've got... So much going on here with Getting Geeky with Game Relief. We will try to make sure you're thanked each and every episode when we can. But anyways, she brought up a great idea. Well, he, he brought up a great idea. If you are on the Kickstarter, if you're on listening to us and you back us on the Patreon, why not give you added extra content by, list, by pledging where we would keep the creator on and we could talk about whatever is going on in their lives or talk about different things exclusives on getting geeky with game relief for our patreon backers what do you think what will be a good good price point one dollar five dollars go ahead and let us know once again send us an email to tell us all this stuff you can win a great game trip lock from chip theory games you can also yeah by helping us know the game you can go ahead and tell us why you're listening from ukraine or just any kind of fan mail. We'd love to hear from you. And once again, that email address is GameRelief at GameRelieveGo.com. Well, we like we like to say here on Getting Geeky with Game Relief, we will catch you on the floor. No, I mean flip side, you all have a great week. And you won't be done with hearing from us because we love to give you the content. Now go ahead and get geeky or stay geeky or help others get geeky with Game Relief. Game Relief out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>